This video will show you how to check and change the charge algorithm in your Delta Q battery charger using a laptop computer. The charge algorithm, sometimes referred to as the charge profile, is basically the recipe the charger uses to provide the appropriate amount of current and voltage to the battery during the charge cycle to charge the battery as efficiently and safely as possible. Different types and brands of batteries require different charge algorithms and it's important to have the correct algorithm selected for the battery that's in your machine. Changing the charge algorithm with a laptop requires a quick programmer kit. This kit consists of a USB interface module, a set of leads with a connector and two crocodile clips, a USB AB cable, and the Quick Programmer CD. Note that the programmer kit will only work with the Delta Q chargers that have a black dot attached to them. And of course you'll need a laptop computer with an available USB port. The laptop processor speed and memory requirements are not critical for this application, but Delta Q recommends that you use a laptop running Windows XP. The Quick CD also includes a user manual in PDF format. We recommend that you read the Quick User Guide before you get started. Please note the instructions presented in this video are a bit different than those listed in the Quick User Guide. The instructions in the User Guide pertain to a charger that has not been installed in a machine. The instructions in this video will show you how to change the charge algorithm with the charger installed in the machine and without having to remove any machine panels or components. The first thing you'll need to do is load the programmer CD into your laptop and install the programmer software. Once the CD is loaded, the screen will briefly display the Windows installer screen. The screen will then display the License Agreement screen. Click on I Agree, then click on Next. The screen will display the Select Installation Folder screen. You can use the default folder location as shown in the Folder field, or you can type in the path or browse to the folder in which you want to install the programmer by clicking on the Browse button. To see how much disk space you'll have available on your local drive before and after the programmer installation, click on the Disk Cost button. Click OK to close the QEQ Programmer Disk Space window. Select whether the Quick Programmer will be available to everyone or just to yourself by clicking on either Everyone or the Just Me button, then click Next. The screen will display the Installing Quick Programmer screen. The screen will then display the Installing Delta Q Quick USB Interface Module Driver screen. Click OK. The screen will then display the Installation Complete screen. Click on Close to complete the software installation. Make sure the Charger AC line power cord is unplugged. Lift or remove the appropriate tank or machine panel to access the battery pack. Disconnect the battery pack connector. Make sure the end of the connector that's attached to the batteries is in a secure position with no chance of arcing or shorting out. Connect the red crocodile clip to the positive side of the battery pack connector attached to the machine. Connect the black crocodile clip to the negative terminal on the battery pack. Plug the two connector plug on the red and black leads into the matching connector in the USB interface module. Plug the square B-type USB plug into the matching connector in the USB interface module. Plug the rectangular A-type USB plug into a USB port in your laptop. When all of the cables have been connected and are secure, plug the charger into a wall outlet. Go to the Start menu and select Quick Programmer to launch the Quick application. The screen will display the COM settings window that lists the port to which the Quick interface is connected. 
Note that with Windows XP, the system will detect the correct communications port automatically. Click on OK to display the Quick Programmer window. If for some reason you see a No Charger Detected message in the Quick Programmer window, check to make sure all of the connections to the charger, interface module, and laptop are correct and secure, and that the charger is plugged into an AC outlet. The Charger Status window List the charger serial number, the firmware, and software information, and the number of the charge algorithm currently selected as the default algorithm. In this case, algorithm number 7 is listed as the current default algorithm. Refer to the algorithm table in Technical Service Bulletin US 2007-979 to determine the correct charge algorithm for the type and brand of battery installed in your machine. In this case, we've installed US battery, model number US-305 wet cell batteries in our machine, so according to the chart, we need to be using charge algorithm number 72. Click on the appropriate algorithm, number 72 in this case, to highlight the field in the algorithm's present window. Note that if the charge algorithm you need is not listed in the algorithm's present window, please contact Advanced Commercial Technical Service. Click on the Set as Default button to set the default algorithm to number 72. The new default algorithm will be shown to the right of the algorithm field in the Charger Status window. Once you've changed the charge algorithm, click on the Close box to quit the Quick Programmer application. Unplug the charger from the wall outlet. Unplug the USB cable from your laptop. Disconnect the red crocodile clip from the battery pack connector. Disconnect the black crocodile clip from the negative battery pack terminal and you're finished.